Welcome back, everyone, to Tale of Immortal. This episode, uh, well, I guess I should say last episode, we tied up some loose ends, uh, got rid of uh, this Kuwadl here as well. Uh, I think there's nothing holding us back now. Uh, we could forge an artifact still, uh, sure. That says we need uh, Samadhi Flames anyway, which uh, we can't get. So I don't know if we can actually do the forging artifact thing. We know we can't do the Story of Charms, and uh, Shi Ching is in the next area. Uh, in addition, uh, we need to go up north uh, to find uh, all the stuff that we need to uh, reach our origin spirit stage. Uh, we did kill uh, this creature last time, but I'm not sure... I don't think we looked at what we got from it. Um, realm is too low. Okay. Right, this is an origin spirit special blast. Um... So we should probably store that at some point. Um, I think, yes, is also Origin Spirit. We need 183 skill points. Um, yeah, it might be a bit difficult. Uh, anyway, uh, we also did get quite a few other ultra-powerful uh, items. Maybe in the next uh, area, I will have the ability to spend Spirit Bucks and gain... Uh, and gain uh, spirit root stats. Like, you know, obviously we'll probably have to spend a lot to get spiritual roots, but uh, maybe uh, maybe it'll work out like that. We'll see. Uh, either way, uh, we're gonna head north through what was a vast ocean. Is now no more. And um, what's this guy doing? Oh, it's a sphinx. That would that would be really bad. <laughs> this guy's kinda crazy. Uh I should use some of my items here. I think we need to use the sword. Although I guess we could use the sword now. You know what, let's use this. Oh, the durability. We never repaired our artifact. Oh, man. We have plenty of the materials now, though. Um, you know, it, it probably would be a good idea to learn the uh, attacks here. Because then you could... The attack pattern? Because then you could, like, just stop attacking when you know you need to dodge something. Uh, and prepare your dodge accordingly, right? Luckily, we do have Energy Surge again. That is a lifesaver. Comes in clutch for these uh, really long fights. I think we're going to get a 5 wave. No. A double, uh, lightning. double lightning. A wave. So after the double lightning, we need to get ready to... Summon in a wave, gotcha. Okay, double, and then here comes a wave. Um, uh, we can dodge this one, yeah. Trying to get better, obviously, it's, it's not working, as you can tell. But, uh, we're trying. Oh. 
Come on, that one didn't eye at me. That's some uh, calling shenanigans. Oh, uh, that time the double wave actually moved a little bit. I was on the safe spot. Like you'd you'd have to be like right next to him. Maybe that's the safest spot to be in. No, but then you don't get enough time to react to it. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Some of these attacks seem pretty difficult to block. Alright, uh, gained a sword fruit, a fire fruit, um, a yin water treasure. Okay, it's not, uh, one of the ones that we'd like, but, uh, we have an option now, so that's good. That's kind of scary, actually, that's one of the weaker ones. Um, do we head back west, maybe, to the town? Strong winds pick up and you lose your fall, or you lose your footing. Strange beast helps you up. Lightning is increased. Uh, yeah, do we want to head back to... I don't think so. Let's head to the next area. Ventured 100,000 hills. Monsters here will attack you. Encounter a monster. Well, that's not good. some healing items. Make sure we stay topped off. So it's 100,000 hills, I guess, just a full-on, like, damage area, like Leiji, I guess? Is there no... I wonder, I get Maybe there's no, like, towns or anything around here, too. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, st I'm stuck on a... Gotta kill the ape first, I guess. You know, um, I don't know. Both of these guys are kind of low, I guess. The ape is always in our face, though. Appropriate for an ape, I suppose. This time, <laughs> we knew it was coming. There we go. Uh, that was just a regular fight, too. Oh man, this is uh, this is not good. <laughs> this is now we maybe we should not be here. Um, I kind of wish I had that repellent now. 
This appears to be just a dangerous area. I like the music for this area, though. Very good. Uh, let's try to stay out uh, for a bit longer, I guess. We'll uh, heal up. And uh, continue on. Um, I kind of want to use those spirit fruits, but at the same time, it's like... Maybe we just save them, since we know we need them for some... I don't know. Look at this area. Wow. Resplendent chi abounds. Yeah, we probably should have waited to come out here instead. I guess the likelihood for more chi being around here is, is greater, right? Uh, if worse comes to worse and we, we find we can't survive out here much longer, then we will uh, use a teleportation thing to get out. So we're not in any real danger right now. We'll try to do as much as we can. Okay, we have the fire guy, and uh, we should get rid of this thing first, probably. Summons more enemies. Not good. Hmm. We'll let, her, uh, let this guy live. Uh, we'll use him to not live, but you know what I mean. We'll just uh, charge up our spirit off of this guy. Very easy to dodge now. Now that we know that we can just release our auto to uh, move faster. Should have thought of that earlier, I guess, but... I guess one of those nuances that you can only pick up by playing, right? Ooh, look at that. I think that's the arcane lock spot. The demon seal. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> five, five grade four spiritual fruit. Okay, I'm so glad I did not use those. <clears throat> we'll have to uh, come back. Of course, I'm not even sure if we can do that. Uh, we'll probably need to recover our... Um, recover our artifact first before we do that. We probably should have held off cultivating too. I mean, just look at how crazy the chi is around here. You wanted something to say. Uh, yep. You know, I hear a lot from the Ezure Firebird people, it seems. Yunmo. Uh, looks like we've made it into uh, a safe area around here. Uh, we uh, got pissed on. Sorry, Golden Shower. Hugu. Have you heard about the an evil being born in Yunmo the other day? Even someone as strong as a heaven chosen can fall by its hand. What? I've never heard of such a thing. Please don't scare me. I'm just saying you should watch out while walking outside at night. If you don't believe me, you can get to those beast-infested areas just as usual. Nah, I don't want to die yet. Hey, don't leave me behind. <laughs> There's Chow Yu Town. Excellent. Oh, this is like a winter area. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, 645. Looks like it's time to upgrade our items. Uh, before we do that, <laughs> we'll, we'll um, equip something. The Benefactor Priest. Trust me, I'm the good guy. Sell me your stuff for less. Uh, yes. Ooh, I don't know about that. 
do like 15 of these. Oh wow, Origin Spirit and Nascent Soul. Okay. Half of me gets the feeling like we shouldn't be here, but the other half is like, probably should be here. Oh, I guess we'll need uh, re uh, purple items when we move into the next state as well. Um, almost tempted to buy those, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll find some uh, on our own. Origin spirit uh, pill, yeah, okay. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's... Boomer... <laughs> Boomer's Thunderous Frost Blast. Uh... We might want to keep that, because we might use it. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Um, let's store this item as well. We are getting close to being able to learn this ability. We might not end up using it, though. This would be nice to learn. Oh, we can learn this now. Wait, which one's better? One of these is uh, defense and one of these is crit. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay, gotcha. Origin spirit. Um, and this one's chi condensation, but we don't have one of these. So let's learn this one while we're safe, I guess. Something flits through the sky as you're about to begin the manual. It's the steed. He cries to you and leaps around as if he wants to remind you of something. You feel a dis bit disturbed and decide to admonish it, but just at that moment, you find that the manual makes sense. You know the steed inspired you with its moves and stances. You raise to look at it once more, but it's only dust drifting in the air. Nice. <laughs> wait, so did, wait, wait, did we learn it or not? I think we did. Let's find out. Yep, there it is. Boom. That's like that's like half of our remaining skill points. All right. All right. We can only have uh, two other types of uh, options here, so I'm sure we'll find them eventually. I'm guessing. I mean, they're all based on the different stats, right? So we've got defense, vitality, focus, crit. Attack energy. My crit resistance, I think we've seen that. How do I get artifacts? In the tavern, a drunk man is lying across the table, murmuring nonsense. You listen closely to hear him say this. How to find artifacts? We're all dying soon anyway. What's the use of darn artifacts? I approach him. My master forged a firebird with a single feather. Soon the firebird will grow strong and fly up into the sky like a three-legged crow. Oh, no, not a three-legged crow. It will turn into the scorching sun, causing the world to fall into scalding heat. Then the seedlings would die, trees would die, seas will dry, and we will also die. We're all going to die. <laughs> Seems very familiar to, uh, similar to the uh, time Ho Yi shot down the suns, right, right. But the uh, drunkard in front of uh, you distracts you from your thoughts. Uh, don't worry, though. My master's bird is only two-legged, not three. It's the difference, anyway. The point is, we're all going to burn and die from the heat. The world's over. <laughs> kind of hear this kind of talk in real life, too. Jeez. Uh, his ramblings seem to contradict each other, but you have an inkling of the situation. You remember when the previous three-legged crows were raging in full power, the whole of Yong Ning became a scorched land. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> so what is your master going to do to deal with the, the firebird? Deal with it? Master spent half of his life forging that firebird. 
He cherishes it with his whole being. He isn't going to deal with it. Flames of the bird are the real fire of alchemy that many cultivators can only dream of. Uh, after the drunkard finishes talking, he wobbles onto his feet, pushes a parcel on your hands, uh, asks you to pay for his tab, and then walks away. <laughs> Alright. What a peculiar person. What should you do? Follow him. Drunkard seems to have gone in that direction. Maybe I should follow. The last three-legged crows burned down Yong Ning. Another firebird appeared now. I would I should be on alert. Yeah, true. And let's see. Yeah, we gotta pick up our stuff. Uh, let's use the What do we need, anyway? I'll probably use the fine iron again, but then, uh... What? Oh yeah, earthly materials, that's what we needed. Uh, three of them, if I remember right. I wonder what the impurities thing uh, things do. No monsters or challenge fallen valley. Hmm. Okay. Repair our uh, our sword. There we go. Should we enhance the thing? We need star pyrite. Okay. I don't have any star pyrite. Uh, we need heavenly materials times 12. And a forged quartz. Uh, okay, well. Never mind then. A lot of stuff that we just don't have. She's just walking along. That is the strangest looking walk I've ever seen. <laughs> what was that? Alright. Uh, let's store this uh, feng shui diagram. We can't use it anyway. Um... You know, maybe we should just use this book anyway, because if we don't use it now, we're just not going to use it. So uh, let's, let's use it on something, I guess. Uh, might as well use it on this, yeah. Um, oh, look at all these options. Okay. Okay, so we can add attack if we have uh, max vitality hitting 5k. That's that's definitely a possibility soon. Could increase our damage. Uh... Damage if it's a legendary or mythic martial skill. I mean, that sounds pretty good. If a legendary mythic special is equipped, uh, its cost is reduced by 40%. Hmm. That's pretty tempting. Then again, uh, flat 25% skill damage as well is very tempting too. Man. Uh I I think we should do this one. If a legendary or mythic martial skill, martial spiritual skill, skill is equipped, the skill's damage will increase by 25%. Sounds pretty darn good to me. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Boom. Upgraded. Uh, I think we have to re-equip it now. Uh, yep. Boom. Oh, it uses more skill points, too. Ah, okay. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, suddenly skill points are an issue. Uh, they haven't been the whole game. But, uh, now they are, suddenly. Fun. Uh, no one is here for us to spar. Uh, I doubt anyone wants to ever come here, to be honest. Uh, is there a new... Oh, these are all Origin Spirit stuff. Okay. any beast claws. Uh, yeah, we, we, we don't own any of those. Uh, well, what is... Uh, maybe there's some uh, reward that we can take around here. 12 decrees. It's pretty good. Um, 3,100 bucks. 12 decrees. Let's do that, actually. Yeah, it's right up here. Coming out of the city, you see a magpie being stopped by a mysterious woman. You find the aura of that mysterious woman a bit familiar. You feel as though you've met her before, but you can't put your finger on where. Have you ever heard of the Golden Crow's feather? Rumor has it that the three-legged Golden Crow has become another sun in the sky, causing anguish across the world. It is immensely powerful, and one of its feathers have fallen down near here. Feather is a rare treasure across the realm. Not only is its power equivalent to a thousand years of training, but any bird in possession of it will turn into a Dewan and become the ruler amongst races. The magpie says, uh, you're annoying me. Get out of the way. In addition, it can also change the appearance of any bird. So otherwise, ordinary birds will instantly become beautiful and alluring while in possession of it. What? <laughs> There's that kind of effect. How may one come into possession of it, then? Ah, it's right of you to want it. Rest assured, since I told you, I will naturally find a way to bring this feather to you. But as for a reward... I do find the red string of yours to be quite charming. I guess uh, how much you give how much you give me will reflect your sincerity. All right. Fine, you can have it all. This better not be a scam. Wait here, I will stick to my word and find you your treasure. Here. Take this magic carrot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The magic carrot. It's the bunny again. <laughs> I shall return with what is promised to you. The mysterious woman breezes away, leaving the magpie staring after her. You look at the magpie <laughs> as if you can feel your gaze. <laughs> as if you can feel your gaze, he turns his head to stare back at you with his big round eyes. You've been robbed, sir. <laughs> oh, no. It's the rabbit again. <laughs> That's great. Hell diff... Oh, um... Uh, I don't know about this one. Wait, can we not use this because we're at Realm, is it? Yeah, our realm was too low, okay. We might die to this one, so it might be the uh, end of the episode here soon. So, uh, put those there. Um... Eh, Alright. Well, we're gonna try it. I think this is gonna kill us. Quite a few Realm Origin Spirit 5 Mythical Beast. <sighs> Alright, probably dead. <laughs> if that's it, that's it. We, we've got a lot of a lot of stuff done here. Oh my god, we're definitely... Okay, we got out. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, get out. We don't even do damage to these things. Um... My gosh. Alright. <laughs> we have to abandon that quest. Uh, I don't even know about the wild magpie thing either. This area seems like it's beyond us already. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, city. I, I just can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. Uh, what is this? A nightmare bandit camp. I'll have to pass on that too. Oh, 
Hello there. Doesn't doesn't look like you're from Yunmo. Are you new? Yeah, I am. There's a really bad. Yeah, I know. In recent years, the righteous faction and the untamed in Yunmo have been feuding constantly. If you get caught in the crossfires by accident, you could very well end up dead. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know if I want to be here at all. Oh, we're pretty deep now, huh? Um. What is this? Massive pile of treasures. It's the old guy that steals stuff. But upon you getting close to his side, you find a little old man examining the treasure pile as well. He senses you. He turns his head to look at you at once. Darn it! My, el my eldest brother. Oh, I just realized there's different ranks of these guys. Once told that I should do it with utmost caution, but I'm discovered by you. Well, take these as a gift. Remember to be silent on your findings. <laughs> these guys are just robbers, man. Alright. Follow and see. It's the steed! The fire... Wait, fiery unicorn? Stroke its head. Fiery unicorn rubs its neck on you and bends down. It seems to be uh, inviting on you to ride it. Sit on its back. The next moment, the fiery unicorn dashes into the sky with a cheerful neigh. Swoops step on the air. Soon, the fiery unicorn has carried you into the clouds. Try to touch the cloud. The creature gallops forward. You reach out to the cloud and your fingertip leaves a soft, snowy wake on its surface. Suddenly, the steed accelerates and carries you somewhere far above the clouds. Under the cerulean canopy is a glorious rising sun, as well as mysterious islands floating in thin air. You marvel at what you see. Finally, the fiery unicorn carries you back to the firm land after the wonderful journey. It looks at you and makes a gentle whinny and leaves. Okay. Glad we didn't die. Uh, let's uh, visit this place. Uh, just to have it marked, basically. I think we might have to teleport back to Jinfeng. This uh, area is uh, much too dangerous for us, I think. And again, um, this area wasn't too bad. Yeah, this area is not too bad. Uh, so it's anything in Yun Mo, apparently. It's, it's just uh, kind of crazy. I think we should probably be an origin spirit before we go out there. <laughs> no chance of dodging that one. Fun times, fun times. Well, let's look around uh, this area then. Uh, try to map this area out, I guess, too. Uh, this area is pretty cool. I don't know if we'll find any like traces of civilization out here, though. Uh, where... Where is the stuff that we need? Uh, yeah, let's see. Azure Bone. <laughs> the Lord of Beasts. Cerulean Kawadi? Didn't we kill that already? The Azure Bone. We did get that! Okay, I was gonna say, I thought, I thought we killed that at the end of the last episode. Um... Apparently we also got a Wailing Chime, which is a nice monster core. Uh, we also got the Yin Water. Uh, what else do we need? Hmm. 
Honestly, the yin water looks pretty good compared to this uh, monster bloodstone, but... Flat stats are pretty nice, but plus crit stuff is probably a nice dab too. So I'm trading out 30 damage and 420 vitality for... Eh, yeah, monster bloodstone is probably a little bit better. Let's see, uh, demon seal. So we have to go into the demon seal circles. I guess they're all in the demon seal circle. We did end up getting some of these just by adventuring uh, in the area too. In the previous area, that is. Uh, recipe can be purchased at workshops in Yuanguang City. The furnace can be purchased in the markets. We have to concoct the elixir ourselves. Maybe we could find this in the market actually around here too. Oh, it's a stone array. Green parrot flies right past you. It's talking as it flies. I left you something under the bridge to the south. Chikadee. Don't tell anyone. You eternally decide that your name is now Chikadee. Restrain your greed. This is not yours to take. An air of righteousness emanates from your body. Um, yeah, so I don't think we can go... Let's see. Let's let's click on this. I don't think... Yeah, this is all walled, so you can't go back down here. We could try to do this. Um, we might not be strong enough to. But then again, we're not really going to get any stronger until we collect those items. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Um, we do have four of the fruits required. We only need three to attempt it. If we lose, of course, then we're going to have to find more, right? Hmm. Uh, we are basically full power. Yeah, uh, pretty tough. Pretty tough indeed. These two make a pretty good combo, actually. I think I'd rather kill this thing. This thing doesn't do any damage, so that's why, but... She did kind of make it uh, more tedious and annoying than normal, I guess, to deal with. All right, let's try our luck, I suppose. This could be really bad. <laughs> this could be really bad. All right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We need five, not three. For some reason. All right. Never mind. Can't do that right now. We need more spirit fruit. Uh... Spirit fruits are obtained by by random occurrence, um, basically. You can't pass through this area, so. I think we teleport back to Jin Feng. So apparently there's an, a, recipe, a recipe in here. Um,
Still can't even mine that stuff. <laughs> I think we'll let these uh, energy uh, items maybe peter out, I guess. Um, buy some more of these. Uh, I guess they don't have it here. Maybe we have to visit the uh, city. We should probably not be carrying this on us either. Put this away. Still need more fire. Oh, we still need more uh, fruits, I mean. So maybe we head over to the, the city. Uh, after looting the uh, sect here. This area is so easy now. Uh, honestly, even the, um, the hundred-something area, the nice forested area that we were just in, not too hard at all either, but, um, Yun Mo is just kind of crazy. get to summon anything. <laughs> Great. Uh, we probably healed all our stuff back, too. Good times. Good times. Uh, you defeat the monsters and look around the ruins, picking up some spirit bucks and manuals. Uh, it's a decent lightning book, but don't really care about a decent lightning book anymore. Um, I'm not even really sure we care about this treasure, either. Uh, I don't think we do. Maybe I should. But... What's this herb here? Uh, no, we don't want to. Maybe in the next state we can. Hello, fellow cultivator. Went to settle down in a peaceful place with a bamboo hut, a clutch of chicks, and you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't thought of it. Maybe you could think about it now. <laughs> I'd like to make another try. I only see you traveling here and there every day. Don't you feel tired? Sometimes it may be better to accept the arrangement of our fate than to change it. You're right, but I still hope that I could exhaust every possibility to change my fate someday. Even if it means I need to travel to every corner of the world. Poor gong Hu. And before that, I will never surrender to my fate. I'm ready to give up all I have and follow you, but why are you so obsessed with your lofty dream? Do as you wish. I'm sorry. Seeing Gong Hu cannot be convinced, the cultivator left the spot. Gong Hu gazes into the far distance in the road ahead, seeming tired. I comfort him. Thank you. Actually, I'm also uncertain about whether my endeavor will bring results, but I don't want to give up now. I feel like Gong Hu's gonna die someday. Bino ape, Dochu tone. Okay, uh, so I was promised um, some kind of recipe. 
I suppose the acuity furnace might help. But... We should probably buy these two. They're so cheap. None of these are the things that we were told would be here. So that's going to be a problem. I mean, we had the golden core pills here, but nothing else. is this anyway? Uh, body reconstruction. Oh, here it is. Uh, yeah, reach origin spirit. Um, so we need 50 ramies uh, from 100,000 hills. Okay. 40 fishtail grass. Uh, we own zero of all of these. Oh, so we need herbology. Uh, you can obtain it by killing as well. Uh, in Cloud Cave, it says. Um, mm -hmm. Tamed by killing monsters in Cloud Cave. Uh, I don't even think we've seen Cloud Cave yet. Alright, well, at least we know what we need to look for. Um, can I buy this recipe? I think we already have it, right? We probably can't even use the recipe, to be honest. Learn. Oh, uh, maybe we can buy the prescriptions for those items. Uh, let's see. Uh, what uh, what was it called again? Yeah. Uh, Raimi and fishtail grass. Hmm. Not the things we're looking for. Maybe maybe those are found in the next city or something. get the new, uh, the new furnace, might as well. We've been spending money with reckless abandon lately. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. Um, probably regret that at some point, but we're making a lot of money off just regular stuff. Someday we could just go and sell a bunch of the, the junk that we keep around to, I'm sure, and have plenty of money. We should probably store, uh, these two items... Set of instructions for concocting the... Yeah, so let's use that really quick. It's a purple book. There it is. So now, uh, we should be able to do that whenever, provided we have the appropriate uh, power level. Efficiency 0 of 100. Forging difficulty very hard. That's fantastic. Our alchemy is, is like zero. How do we get our alchemy up? Can't even use these furnaces. I don't even know uh, what we would do to get alchemy.
At some point we need to get a new ultimate too, but can't even use the current ultimate, which is uh, a really big uh, nerf to us. Next auction in eight months, but uh, we won't be here. Already have a, a mind skill in that section. Uh, let's look in the golden core section, yeah. Hunger's Blooming Compendium. This could boost our uh, focus quite a lot, but it's not really something we need, to be honest. We could go from a chi refining thing all the way up to this. Lower cooldown, way more energy cost. Hmm. I think maybe that's why I haven't done it yet, because I'm like, I just want it for the blink, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but... more. G1 spirit uh, transformation. Oh, to reach origin spirit. Hey, that's what we need. Um, we can't use the G3 fruits, I don't think, to get into that other spot, but the monster bloodstone too. We have to do this. We have to do it. Alright. We have to do it. Uh, I'm guessing this horrible place is it. You entered the deserted place. Because someone is gazing at me. Alright. Here we go. 18,000. I hit a portal inside the boar's lair on the top of the yard. Once in danger, you could break the boar's lair and leave. So I guess we just need to survive? I don't know if, if that's what's happening here or not, but I'm going to toss out my stuff. aura is too dense, and the creatures may go berserk. Withdraw quickly. Uh, I thought I thought I did the thing, but Treasure here. <laughs> Let's get the treasure. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. I <laughs> did my sword instantly get vaporized. Holy cow! It says countdown zero, so I think we can leave, right? Oh, there it is. Maybe not. Hard to see. Teleport. 
teleport away and leave here. Did we win? Are we winning? Did, did we win? Oh, we're almost out of stamina. We have to rest soon. Plus 10 forge. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, a G4 fruit. So we can enter a spot. Uh, we have to use those fire fruits, though. Sadly. Um. Wait, again? Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I don't understand. <laughs> Help me out, guys. <laughs> What's going on here? I mean, we're getting, like, forging stuff, so... Oh, what is this? Uh, I don't know what that was, but all right. Come back up there in a little bit, anyway. This is insane. <laughs> Too dense, the creatures may go berserk. Withdraw quickly. Do we really want to, though? Oh, wait a minute! I just noticed! Uh, the HP was 30,000 to start, wasn't it? Maybe he's losing HP every time we go in. Maybe. He's losing the HP that he's losing in here, but. Just like guessing. This is insane, though. It seems like we're taking damage constantly, but we're also getting like healed constantly. It's really odd. I don't really know what's going on here, to be honest. Is this good or not? I have no idea. Maybe we should try to kill the evil stone monster. I don't know if we have it in us. I mean, is the mission complete? Like, I have no idea. I'm so confused. So he's down to 20,000 HP now, I think. Let's try to get the heck out of here. I have no idea. I mean, we're getting uh, four blood jades. What? That's a lot of cash. Um, didn't actually get uh, anything else interesting. So is he down to 20k HP now? I'm so confused. Did, did it, uh, did it work? No, it doesn't look like it. We have to purge it. I am terribly confused. I think we'll call it there. Um, we'll check. We'll try to go back there and then see if he's down to 20k HP next time. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he's getting whittled down, right? And the, the idea is maybe uh, you try to flee, you know what I mean? Uh, I, don't, I don't get it. I think the idea is you flee uh, and then break him down in chunks. Not 100% sure, but I guess we'll find out. 
So anyway, I will keep hammering away at it. See what I did there? In the next episode. Peace.